Oh, what's cracking, my man and society? It is your host with the most, Shadow Loke, back at you with another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and are subscribed to the channel. It's absolutely free. That is how you help my channel get into the algorithm. Highly appreciate if you go ahead and do that. Now, what I wanted to get into was actually, I forgot I was supposed to answer, you know, a few of my subscribers' questions, right? I told them I was going to make a video talking about, they told me if I had seen about the whole Lefty Gunplay and the uh, concert he did, right? And then about the incident of him wanting to fight his, one of his fans or um, that he ended up fainting or falling or, you know, he was on drugs or up for four days or he got socked or, but there's all kinds of different stories out there, right? People saying this and saying that. Now, my thoughts on the matter is that I was not there, right? So I don't know what happened. I wasn't there. I don't know what happened, you know, um, and all these other YouTubers were not there either. Right, um, I had only seen that the guy uh, John Diesel, uh, he was there, right? Shout out to John Diesel, you know, go subscribe to his channel. Um, but overall, none of them were there, right? So for them to be saying that this happened or that happened, or or all these individuals for that matter, right? It seems that whenever there's somebody you know that people dislike out there, right, and people just look for any you know little thing to you know to start grilling the individuals for it. Um, because it's crazy because a lot of people have a dislike for Lefty, um, but yet Lefty hasn't done nothing to them personally, right? Um, but I'm guessing they dislike Lefty for his behavior and his comments, right? Uh, it rubs people the wrong way, right? But, I mean, those are just his opinions, so I don't understand why people are so worked up, right? But, you know what I mean? Because he's not, like, attacking, you know, each specific individual, yet they all feel like they, they all feel like it, right? Um... So, I wasn't there, right? So, I can't say what it was, right, or what it wasn't. I mean, people could speculate. They could say this, this, and that. But truly, those are not facts because you weren't there. You don't know. So, you know, you're just assuming. And assume, and assuming and assumptions are not facts. And I could only be honest. Now, but what I want to talk about the video, though, is about, you know, him wanting to fight, you know, his fans, right? Um, And, you know... If Lefty felt disrespected, you know, and he felt like, you know, that's what he had to do, then that's how he felt, and that's, you know, what he felt he had to do, right? But when we're, you know, looking to change our our, our ways and looking to climb that ladder and achieve, you know, um, greatness and wealth, just like, you know, any of these other um, artists that has ever made it, right? There's a time and place for everything, and we have to keep our emotions on check, right? Because this is your profession, you know, you're signed to a label, um, this is what pays the bills, you know, what puts food on the table. Uh, this is what, you know, could elevate you, right? And I get it, you know, some people just don't care about that, right? And they're not going to throw their morals away. I perfectly understand from, from the perspective of Lefty, you know, if he felt like he, you know, was disrespected. And if he felt like that's what he had to do, then that's, you know, then that's how the homie feels, right? Um, but I'm saying we also have to keep in mind that other factors do play a role in this, right? When we're looking to better ourselves and better our future, right? Because of incidents like this, you know, potentially you could harm the chances of you now performing at another, you know, venue, uh, maybe other artists, you know, performing with you, right? Because maybe they feel like it'll bring some drama or their lives will be, you know, at risk, right? So it scares off a lot of people because even though, you know, we're raised like this and, you know, we're about the streets, right? Not everybody's the same, right? So not everybody's going to be, you know, down with that program, right? And it just might scare individuals away, you know, from you potentially, you know, working with them, right? And for other, you know, maybe other interests in, you know, doing business together, right? This might scare them off, right? Because of the whole, you know, drama and chaos, you know, that comes with the street, right? Uh, we have to show them that, you know, we're better than that. And, you know, we carry ourselves with class, you know, like I said, because all these individuals are not in your place, right? So they have nothing to lose, you know, but they want to see you, you know, just like in their level, right? So, you know, you got to keep yourself, you know, above that um, because, you know, you're you're provided an opportunity that not that many people get, you know, provided with. Right. Um, you know, it's just we got to watch, you know, how we carry ourselves out there. Right. I mean, this is some word of advice. You know, people don't have to, you know, you know, take it for nothing. Right. But I'm just saying because, you know, other people are always going to hate. They're always going to have something to say. You know, you're always going to have people out there to try to discredit you. You know, you just got to brush it off and, you know, keep moving forward. You know what I mean? Um, because, you know, 
apparently people do care because you know anytime he has his you know name on there or whatever it, it generates you know views and a buzz and even though a lot of people dislike that right it, nonetheless people are still watching though <laughs> you know what i mean so people can't say that he's irrelevant right and it, and even if it is for whatever reason people say like oh it's because you know they want to see him this is now or he's ooh, ooh, ooh. don't matter the view i mean the views are still coming regardless right um and he's still making moves you know you know, despite of how people want to, you know, see him and his talents and, and, and all that, right? That's all irrelevant because he's making those moves, you know? And apparently people, you know, are looking to, you know, collab and bring him on board because obviously, you know, he does, you know, generate a buzz. So he does bring in numbers. So, you know what I mean? If he really was irrelevant or didn't really bring numbers or people didn't really give a fuck, then nobody would be reaching out for reaching out to him. But they do. You know what I mean? And like I said, you don't have to agree with his perspectives and his and his way of carrying himself, right? Um, and, you know, he has to understand that, you know, he's not going to be able to please everybody out there and everybody's always going to have something to say. You know, you just can't be, you know, fighting the whole world, you know? Sometimes we have to learn how to, you know, just brush stuff aside because it really isn't that, it really isn't worth it, right? Um, you know, because like I said, you know, this opportunity, you know, doesn't really come that often and you have a chance to now, you know, build something off of it, right? Even if they do say, like, it's your only your 10 minutes of fame or however these motherfuckers and haters want to say it, right? Nonetheless, you can still, you know, make those 10 minutes, you know, the best of him, right? And and, and gather up a, a, a nice, you know, some, a nice bag, right? And now, you know, invest in something, right? And, and you know, to generate more money, you know, you could use this as, as, as a stepping stone. Nobody says that people have to rap forever, right? Um... You know, just just some food for thought, bro. You know what I mean? Um, because it's time to, you know, elevate, you know, like elevate yourself in the game and show them that Raza could carry themselves, you know, to a higher standard and that, you know, we're not always violent or uh, always look, you know, go down that route. You know, professionalism, you know, is going to open more doors than, you know, uh, wanting to throw hands, you know what I'm saying? But overall, that's just my thoughts on the matter. Um, you know, what do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. Shadow, we out.